Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to talk about using Web SDR to uh, check your uh, ability to uh, get out propagation wise uh, and uh, to be able to see uh, what your signal looks like remotely. So the Web SDR project uh, is a set of uh, SDR receivers around the world that uh, you can control remotely uh, via a web browser uh, and it's located at websdr.org when you get there you'll see a page uh, much like this one uh, of course uh, sometimes uh, SDRs are added sometimes they're removed so it may look different when you get there uh, one of the things I like to look at if you scroll all the way down to the bottom there's a map that shows you where these uh, SDR, SDR receivers are located and on this map you can click uh, to see what bands are supported uh, so for instance uh, 111 over here in Dallas if you click on it you'll see that uh, it has 3.388 to 4.412 megahertz on a dipole uh, which if we were doing some testing on a 75 meter band we could use that it's during the day here and uh, I'm on the uh, 40 meter band so uh, I think that we should be able to use uh, either Arizona or Utah for that Arizona would be acceptable. Uh, Utah is only 2 meter. Okay. So, let's go ahead and uh, bring up the uh, web SDR page for uh, the one in Sedona. So all you have to do is click the link here. And then it'll bring up the interface page. I'm going to go ahead and turn the received audio down here. So, uh, you can see the waterfall display. Uh, the band selection, which we're on 40 meter right now, uh, frequency, and uh, where I am at there on my transmitter currently, where I'm tuned up, is uh, 7.22 megahertz. So we're just going to move across. You can either use uh, the interface here to do that, or uh, you can uh, drag it across the bottom. So, let's see here, let's see if we can get uh, set into where we need to be. Alright, so, uh, we can see where we are set here. Well, I've got my uh, transmitter set for uh, CW at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and uh, key the transmitter. Uh, I'm running through my SP200 right now, so I have approximately uh, 550 to 600 watts uh, available here. Let's see if it uh, can make it uh, via propagation over to Sedona. Very faintly, I am seeing the line there. Let's see if we can hear it. We don't hear it, but uh, we can see that uh, the signal is making it. Let me reset for uh, sync sideband here. Alright, and let's try this again. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo. Testing, 1, 2, 3, and click. Ah, so we can't see it on the waterfall, but that time we did hear it through the received audio. So we are making it uh, over to Sedona. Uh, so what you can do is you can bring up uh, receivers across the country, uh, across the world, and uh, see if your uh, signal uh, can be heard uh, in the location of the SDR. That gives you an idea of uh, how far your signal is making it, uh, where it's bouncing to, and uh, how it sounds remotely. Well, that's going to be a, a quick one for today. I just wanted to uh, introduce that and uh, let everybody know that it's out there. Uh, of course, make sure that uh, you do ID when you're testing and uh, that you're operating in an area of the band where you are licensed. Uh, I'm an extra class operator here, so uh, pretty open to operate where I can. If anybody has any questions or comments, uh, let me know down below. And uh, I hope that you found this video informative. And uh, I also hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.